In this video, we're going to be going over how to get started creating templates for your course catalog page, your courses, and your lessons. I have some test content set up here inside of Lifter LMS, and if we go take a look at a course page or a lesson page, you can see that it looks like it would out of the box. So to get started, we're going to go over to our dashboard, and you're going to go under Templates and Theme Builder. This is where you're going to be creating and editing all of your templates for Lifter LMS. If you go up here and click Add New, it's going to ask you what kind of template you'd like to create. If you don't have a good idea of what post types are or what an archive is, I suggest you go take a look at our overview video. It'll give you a good understanding of how Lifter LMS handles the course content and gets integrated with Elementor's Theme Builder. So for the first option here, we're going to specify whether we're working on a single template or an archive template. The single would be a course or lesson template, and the archive would be a course catalog template. So let's get started by clicking single, and it asks which kind of single post type, and you would either click course or lesson here, and then you would give it a name. If you want to create a template for your course catalog page, you would go up here and click archive, and just give it a name. And then we'll just say create template, and immediately you get brought to the Elementor Builder. If you scroll down over here, you'll see there's a new section inside of Elementor called Lifter LMS General. These are all of the widgets that Lifter Elements adds for you to build your course content. You can use a combination of these and the regular Elementor widgets to create your templates. Once you're done creating your template, you're going to need to tell Elementor where to display it. So if you go down here next to publish, there's a little arrow. If you click that, you'll see something called display conditions. This is what we're going to use to tell Elementor where we want the template displayed. So go ahead and just click add condition. And for our course archive, you're going to want to click this and go down here and click courses archive. This is going to apply to the default course catalog page that Lifter LMS creates. If you'd like to further filter where this template is displayed, you can see there's some more specific rules underneath that you can mess with but we'll just say Courses Archive and say Save and Close. For a single post type, like a course or a lesson template, the process is a bit different. When you go down here and click Display Conditions, you'll see that it gets auto-filled to display on all lessons or all courses. And if you click this right here, you can see there's a section for courses and lessons, and you can further filter by author or category based on your needs for your website. If you'd like to display your template on a particular lesson or a particular course, you can do that by clicking All, and type in the name of your lesson or your course, click it, and it will only display on that particular lesson or course. And you can add conditions or remove conditions, and you can change include to exclude in order to exclude this lesson or course from your template. And again, once you're done, just click save and close.